Hi, it's Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I wanted to take you through the MacQ Stereo Utility. You can access it up here in the ribbon. Just click on this icon here. Or what you can do is you can type in MQ and then ST for stare and get to it from the command line as well. So from this dialog, we can choose different views here on the left. We can also combine these views and show all three views at once. And over on the right here, you'll have some options to toggle off and on handrails and so forth. Underneath, you'll see a design configuration. Click on that. In this dialog, you can click on these rectangles to change their values. For example, here, W represents the tread width. So just click on W and then change it from here. On the left side, you can configure the maximum amount of steps per flight and also the maximum amount of steps per direction. I'll explain what this means in just a bit. Then we had the tread material here and the stringer size here. Here you can set your riser and slope defaults. And then if you click on the handrail, there's a few options here where you can configure the handrail size and the post size. And lastly, down at the bottom here, you can configure the layers and their colors and line types. So once you have all this stuff set the way you want it, just choose OK. Choose what view you want to draw. Now, in full versions of AutoCAD and also AbbeyCAD, you can choose to draw the stair in 3D as well. So we're just going to choose Combined here, and then we'll choose Draw. And here... We want to enter in our model space, the top of stair. So we just click anywhere in model space and we need to lock our ortho mode. So we'll press the F8 key, or you can come down here and toggle it on in your status bar. And from here, we can just type in the height of stair. In this example, I'm just using a 10 foot height. It calculates the number of steps at 16 and then draws a stair in. Now we can come over this way and put the end view of the stair. So we'll just click a point here. Now we could come down this way and click a point and rotate the stair this way so that it matches this. And then that draws in our plan view. Now, let me show you one more example. So let's pan over this way. Let's draw in a construction line here just real quick. So let's do the X line command and we'll put a construction line in here. And then we're gonna copy this up 20 feet because it's gonna be the height of the next stair example. So we'll load the stair utility in again. And then from here, we can just choose draw, put the stair height here. I'm going to type in NEA for the nearest point, click here, and then type in 20 feet for my stair. And notice here it's calculated the landing at 10 feet or 120 inches. From here, let me go into the design tab and explain how you can visually design this stair and override certain values. This is the stair top. This is the stair base. So the top flight is here and the bottom flight is here. And then we have the landing in between. Look down here, you have the total amount of steps required. And then the top run here and the bottom run here. So let's go ahead and just draw this stair in. So I should mention when MetQ draws stairs in, it actually groups them together. So we can just take this and then just move it over away from this stair here. If we go back into the stair utility again, there's an option here to group those entities here if you want them ungrouped for some reason. I wanted to show you how the design dialog works. So let's go over here. Put our 20 foot stair in, just type in 20 feet and then go into this design tab here. Now, 
if we wanted to, we could take this lower flight and reverse the direction. So we choose the edit button here, and then we choose reverse direction. And then we choose OK. Notice that the arrow here has changed. If we wanted to, we could also modify the amount of steps in each flight just by coming down here and doing the edit command and changing this value to let's say 17 and let's say this value to 15 so that they equal 32. So we'll just choose OK here, draw the stairs in. And as you can see in this example, we have the bottom run coming up this direction and then the top run going this direction with the landing again at 10 feet. So that's all I wanted to show you today, just a little bit about how the stair utility works. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and we'll see you in the next video.